Want to learn to only bid for cities and states that are actually delivering you sales in Google Ads? Well, I'm going to show you how to do bid adjustments for locations in Google Ads in this video. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com and today we're looking at location bidding adjustments in Google Ads for your e-commerce store. So I've made this little presentation and then I'm going to show you exactly how to set these up in your Google Ads account. Let's take a look. Okay, so what are location bidding adjustments? So say for example that you have an e-commerce store and you're selling to all of the US states, okay? And say you're selling surfboards, okay? So you're selling to all these states. Well, you're gonna find that people in different states are going to convert differently on your website. Maybe people near the coast, near the beaches, actually wanna buy surfboards more than people in the middle. Yes, but that's not everybody because there are a lot of people in the middle that also like to go on surf trips. So what we can do is that we can go, okay, hmm, we're selling these surfboards. We sell them to surfers and people that buy surfboards. Let's look at the data and let's use our intuition and we can actually tell Google, here's our campaign of surfboard selling. We're selling these surfboards. If someone is in a location that we think is going to convert better, then please Google, please increase the bid just for that search. And these are called location bidding adjustments. And so say for example, a good example of this is with surfing, someone that's in Hawaii. And you know, the stereotype is people in Hawaii love to surf, you know, you've got pipeline and all these amazing lines there and reefs, you know, it's, it's an awesome place to go surfing, it's world famous. Well, you can even start using your intuition and go, hmm, maybe I could use location bidding adjustments to tell Google, hey, if someone is looking for a surfboard and they're in Hawaii and I ship to Hawaii, then please, increase that bid. So here's a screenshot of increasing the bid by 20% if someone's in Hawaii. So in all of the US, we're just gonna bid normally, but if someone is in Hawaii, then we're gonna tell Google, hey, you can increase our bid by 20% because we think those people are going to convert much more likely, much more often and at more profitably than someone in the rest of the US. And then what happens then is this guy here, he's in Hawaii and he searches for your products on Google and because he's in Hawaii, we'll increase our bids and we'll beat the competition and get that search traffic over to our website, convert him with our amazing e-commerce website, and then boom, we send him a surfboard and we have a happy customer. Sounds great. So you may be asking, how do you actually choose what bids you make, or the bidding adjustments more, in, in your Google Ads account for those locations? Well, what I like to say is use your brain and use your heart. Okay, what I mean by this is, all PPC is an art and it's also a science. You use a lot of data, you look at how things are profitable and make adjustments based on that. But a lot of it as well is based on experience, but also trusting your gut. In this example, I didn't need to spend thousands of dollars to think, hmm, people that are near a beach are probably more likely to buy a new surfboard. Yeah, there's people inland that are gonna buy surfboards to go on surf trips or buy surfboards as gifts, but even just using this you know, intuition, uh, I can start making small bidding adjustments, but then I also wanna back that up and check the data after I make those adjustments. Now that we know what bidding adjustments are and how we're gonna attack them, let's get into a Google Ads account and let's set them up. And I'll talk you through that right now in a walkthrough. Let's go. Hey guys, we're now in the Google Ads account and we're gonna go through the location bidding adjustments process for checking out how do we add these bidding adjustments in the account. Okay, so I'm on the campaign level for this shopping campaign here. And I've got some really key metrics broken out here by looking at the columns. If you don't know how to get these columns here, just click columns over here and click modify columns and make sure you select the ones, pause your screen and check out the ones I have here. Um, really, these are the main ones I'm looking at, but you know, the biggest one here is the ROAS, which is actually conversion value divided by cost. I'll pull that out one out for you to make sure you have conversion value divided by cost. It's the exact same thing as ROAS, they'll be the exact same, but that's just easier uh, to see as well. You know, that can confuse some people. But yeah, this is the ROAS. So basically when we're looking at the whole campaign and you're looking at the same period, so choose a period, try and get as much data as possible that's gonna be you know, accurate over that time period. If you've had big changes in your account, like full new products in the shopping campaign, that's not gonna be as potentially as accurate, especially if you have variability between your products. Regardless, this campaign here, same products, pretty much the whole campaign for this was, you know, six, you know, well, it's about 15 months or so, this campaign. Um, and the average ROAS over that time was 9.05, which is insane. Like that's really, really good. We're gonna go 
remember that, or we're going to remember that right now, that row is a 9.05, because that's going to become come in handy quite a lot when we look at how the different locations stack up. So let's go into this campaign. And because you do your location bidding adjustments on the campaign level, it makes it really easy to look at the data in the campaign. So we're going to go over to locations over here on the left. And uh, we can see here that these are ones that were split out already, but we haven't added any bidding adjustments yet. But even here, you, you split these out by going into the campaign settings here and you go to the actual location settings and you can um, choose, even if they're all in Australia or in the US or wherever you're targeting, you can go in there and see how we've actually split these out. Even though, yes, we're targeting all of Australia here, 18 million, it's actually got more than that, but I don't know why. Uh, but we've actually split out between the different uh, main capital cities in Australia. And this then allows us to see in the targeted part of locations, we can see them here and we can actually, I'm gonna pull my big head over here. It's, it's a really big head today and uh, and see here, oh, we don't have the right columns. So let's go and change, add them in. Let's go conversions, conversion value divided by cost. Remember we were aiming for 9.05. So we're gonna see here, there is some variability between our different uh, capital cities in the ROAS, the return on ad spend. So Melbourne, Brisbane, and the Gold Coast, they are, or and Adelaide, they love to spend a bit more on, on this product. They, you know, they're much more profitable. Conversion rate is looking really nice for those. That's a crazy conversion rate. Um, and so what you could do here is go, okay, well, because these are performing really well, let's add a bidding adjustment and five to, you know, five to 10% potentially, just a small bit of bidding adjustment to say to Google, hey, we want to really get these people because they're more likely to convert on our products. This is the way to look at it from a, from a data perspective. Now, what if you haven't broken this out yet? Well, what you can do is you can add them into your settings like I showed you before. But you can also go to the, the uh, geographic report, uh, click on break it down because it will be based on um, your country. And then you can break it down based on the cities, the states, what have you. And now clicking that, it's now gonna break it down into the states. Same thing, conversion value divided by cost. There's a lot of variability and the Northern Territory is killing it uh, as a state overall. Because this tells us that even though those cities were, were all in their own states and they were performing above the average, there's potentially other cities in that state that are actually bringing down um, the average. So uh, that's why, you know, this whole state is, is uh, this one here, this lower that's above. Uh, but even though, um, you know, Melbourne is performing really, really, really well over there, it might be bringing down, uh, it might be keeping up the whole state and there's other cities in that state that are actually bringing it down. So what you can do here is you can do the bidding adjustment or you have to go in and add them into the settings, but basically you can go in there and target a full state as well and add a bidding adjustment for that state. Something to keep in mind guys, is that you may be thinking, okay, what if I add a bidding adjustment for a state and then a, then a city and then a postcode or a zip code within that city? Like what, what, what happens then? Well, really what happens is Google prefers or they don't, prefers and they, they they default the bidding adjustment to the most granular level. So say you had a bidding adjustment of 10% on the state level, but on that, the, t the city level, you had 5%, well, the whole state would be 10%, but anyone in that little town would be 5%. So it starts off, if someone's, when someone searches, if they're in the smallest area, that gets the bidding adjustment. Then they keep going out to all your bidding adjustments until it goes to the, the whole location. Anyway, guys, so that's how you go in and adjust based on the actual data in your account. So you'd go over to targeted. If it's not in here, what you do is you go into settings and then add it in as an extra uh, location that you're targeting. And then you can add the bidding adjustment in here. Keep in mind as well, and I've got another video on mobile um, and device bidding adjustments as well as demographic bidding adjustments and time of day bidding adjustments. Keep in mind that these all add up and compound. So like they, if you have a bidding adjustment of 10% for mobile, 20% for location, 10% for demographics, well, suddenly if someone matches all those variables, then suddenly you're bidding 50% more for that person, which can really add up. It can be huge. So be really careful about that. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful about putting uh, location bidding adjustments into your Google ads account for your Shopify campaigns, e-commerce. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.